guys hear that little arcana of uh hope the uh the the nice zelda music in there Ooh, what is up everybody it is your boy sans the cookie man and we're delivering positive vibes tonight man just here on a wednesday night yes ladies and gents it is time for another episode of wine cheese and comics please a sophisticated look at all things comics and the world of pop culture ladies and gents i bring to you my co-hosts my colleagues let's bring them in Coming to the stage, the ball green rage himself. Y'all know him, y'all love him. He goes by Sans's twin. I just I twin just, just want to welcome you on the twin. show tonight. Nobody knows you like me. Hey, I just, I just want to welcome you on the show. This it's a sophisticated, sophisticated show. Sophisticated. Just thank you all. Faded. Thank you all for coming tonight. I am trying so hard. To, to be like Sans tonight, I'm gonna take a different approach. Coming He's in tired here. of Nola kicking his ass, yeah, y'all. Look, looking good. He you does know. not want Nola to kick his ass tonight. Nola, wine, wine master wannabe. <laughs> Nola is about to kill it, y'all. Oh, look, you got that trap. Is that the popcorn box? Son of a bitch. How'd you get it early? Yo, my name's Sands, man. I got the hookups. Shut up. Get him out of here. All right. Coming to the stage, we have that time-traveling master himself, the legend, the one, the only, promiscuous cow. He's in the house. He's in the cabin in the woods, actually, man. I am in a horror movie. Are you? And I'm... How did he show up real time? <laughs> he uh, showed up five up. minutes early. Now, uh, how, yes, much does, I'm sorry. how much does Taylor actually pay you to wear the goddamn empty uh, balloon, empty thought shirt every time? Empty thought balloon. Uh, it's what is it? Taylor Win. I uh, know it's empty thought balloon.com or whatever. How does or Taylor Winder merch.com? I don't know. I just I just rep it. This goddamn it's, guy it's, reps this shirt the hardest I've ever seen. <laughs> Anybody rep the 6.0? Shout out to Taylor Winder from the 6.0, man. Kyle is doing it. But yo, we wouldn't be a complete show without the master, the man himself, Mr. Get put a foot in and and my man Matt's ass every show. The one, the only. <laughs> He won't let them on, y'all. <laughs> oh, Nola West Coast, we got twinsies. Hey, Man. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm my name is my name is Kyle. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm up here in the woods doing a plumbing job, and uh, he said a plumbing job. Uh, yeah, it was just a, it's a good time to chill out in my horror movie set and you know have some wine and cheese and I just you know it's it's gonna be a good night. I'm, I'm I got good vibes. I'm, you know it, it, I, sick girl. 6 0, baby. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. This is fine. Dumps the fire. And I want everyone to know Nola is in prime mood tonight. So expect fireworks, folks. Expect yep. fireworks. Here, hold on. We'll just, we'll only do uh, close ups. Only do close ups. Oh, my God. Look, how did you do that? What the hell? Oh, man. You have a little bird. You have a bird inside your beard. What That's is creepy. going on? That's creepy. For the fans, they don't need to see that. They don't need to see that. <laughs> but ladies and gents, man, we have such an action-packed show to, tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the last show, man. Shout out to Sean from the Comic Pals. That was an awesome guest. Also, shout out to uh Discovery Bay. If you guys didn't check out that episode, man, we had a blast and um, you know, hanging out with uh with the crew and um asking some questions. So we're gonna do a little bit of that tonight. We got a special guest coming on, but we got so much to talk about, man. There's all kinds of things going on in the world of comics and pop culture. So everybody, really get get your favorite beverage. What are, what are we drinking tonight? What are, what is everyone partaking tonight? I, I left the bottle over there. So Nola go first. Hold on. What is that, Nola? Uh that is uh it's a Syrah. It's an organic Syrah from a local vineyard here Ooh. in the Pacific Northwest. 
My man got the cowboy hats. He's stepping on great everything. Okay. He's uh Elicio Silva. Mm. All right. I got the uh, but, buttery buttery Chardonnay. <laughs> you drinking the Nighthawk? What the, the hell? Nighthawk Gold. That sounds Called like some ripple. Boda box. Yeah, you... Nighthawk. It also they also make uh, internet routers, uh, and <laughs> and wine. Bro, <laughs> who are they make internet routers and wine? Holy, holy crap! Now that is diversifying your product line. Uh, cheese. I have beehive cheese. Uh, it is rubbed with espresso and lavender. Now that is fucking epic, Oops. ladies and gents. Sorry. Oh, barely, it's man. barely buzzed, is what it says. Oh, Fantastic. oh, and cheese and cheese bits. Oh, uh, cheese bits too. Damn they're, it. Yeah, they're <laughs> Maza <laughs> Mini Pearls. Wood, wood smoke. <laughs> like in Matt Maza Maza and, and the cheese bits. And the, the bits. Matt, what bits. you drinking over there, man? Did 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 you really down a whole bottle before the show started? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so there's this guy on the show doing a plumbing job in a horror film that dropped a, hey, can you make this comment to me at like 12 o'clock today? I have spent hours trying to make this action happen that I went out and bought a bottle of relax so I could fucking relax, relax and figure out how to get this and i drank the whole bottle before the show so there might be a moment where i have to disappear and go and find more to drink um and in the spirit of saint patrick's day i have a guinness Ooh, you got a well. guinness too mm -hmm. damn now i'm jealous guinness and wine? Mm -hmm. so I, I still got my other two bottles i am on sam wise tonight and we'll see if i get to mary but pippin and frodo Oh, we'll get you married tonight. Yeah, we gotta, get Nola. we gotta get Nola in the Mary spirit. Shit, hey, Nola. Mary. You might as well just send him the just, just send him Mordor. <laughs> like, just, he's, we're, we're, we're he's prepared. On. Dude, I am, <laughs> I am nothing but floating lava tonight. So, oh my god! All right, what is good thing lava? we're doing hitter. We're doing hit or miss or hit or flop. <laughs> it's just flop or flop. So what do we want to get started with, man? Because there's so much Dude, content we, out there. We yeah, we had a ton of stuff. I mean, I the hottest thing has to be X-Men, even though X-Men is queued up for us later. We, you know, we Jeez, didn't spend dang. a lot of time talking about our food and drinks. I mean, I'm still trying to be like you. So uh um, I got I got some berries and um cranberries and uh almonds here. Nice. And nice, some over. Nice look, look at this motherfucker. <sighs> I just try to be some, like you. Uh, Sliced apples and uh, some Swiss cheese as well. So, that I'm so listen, you're doing a plumbing He's doing a plumbing job in this house. He just fucking raided the fridge, the cabinets, <laughs> stole all these people's food, wine, and everything else. Sitting on their couch, like, oh yeah, I'll fix your toilets in a minute. Let me just eat this guys, wine and cheese. over there, man. It's a it's a kitchen remodel. Oh. Yeah, you're remodeling all that kitchen. Remodeling <laughs> it, remodeling it from the fucking fridge outward. <laughs> Start with well, we gotta clear everything out of the fridge. Easiest way to do it, eat it all. That is the easiest way. What's going on, chat? <clears throat> all right, Good to real see quick. everybody out there. I need a I need a poll, Sans. How many people actually have watched, will watch? X Men '97 or have no interest? Throw it up. It has been the hottest back and forth battle today on Instagram on any platform. You have the extreme haters, and then you have people that are like, "Hey, man, my X Men were back. It was pretty dope." And I want to find out where this chat's at. And while you do that, I had to fix their crappy original trailer, so we got a little little leeway. So. Here we go.
what the fuck is over there? What the fuck is what this? What the goddamn hell is going on? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, listen. I'm going out on a limb, and I'm going to say, He's on this panel, on, on this panel, we had a homework assignment. I guarantee you, one person on this panel did not do their homework assignment. I bet you can guess who it was. We had hey, homework? Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Did you watch X-Men 97? No. <laughs> <laughs> I demoed I demoed a kitchen. Oh. oh. Okay. You couldn't watch it while demoing? No. What are I, you? I forgot my headphones. Mm. It was so loud. Um. Huh. What do, what do you guys think? Let's talk about X Men from a, a one is a continuation, right? Of picks up right after graduation, school. picks up right after that. But Charles in the original, I thought he was going out of space. This one, he's dead, or so they say. He dead. Yo, he gone. What are we what are we thinking? Is the anime still on? Po- animation still on point? Voice acting, there seems, seems to be some slight changes. Let's, let's break it down. Okay, let's start with let's we'll start with was the animation on point? Agree or disagree? I like the animation. I think it was on point. I, I, I gotta say the action sequences, the animation on point for me, hundred percent. Have some concerns about character look. Concerns, not like <laughs> oh my god, I'm not watching this show because. I got to see Gambit's belly button, but <laughs> but had some concerns about you know, but no concerns about how the action was. That end of the first episode where they fought the Sentinels, I was in. Listen, when you can get, when you can make Cyclops badass again, it's game over, man. I did not walk into X Men thinking Cyclops would be one of my favorites. After watching the first episode, and I was in love. I was like, right. "Did this guy just superhero land?" Like, no, no. He he laser beamed a cone to stop himself yes. and land. I he, literally every, everyone else got got picked up. Morph turned into Angel, picked him up. Everyone else got picked up. My dude just looked at the ground, laser <clears throat> beamed, and then land and he said, fl- "My, he my died faster," and then did his joint. I was <laughs> like, "Wait a minute! Wait a minute!" I, I had to. I had to pause it. I rewound it. Yeah, I was like, "That was fucking amazing!" Like I, just that one scene gave me like goosebumps. I was like, "Oh my god!" If I wasn't afraid for us to get banned, I want to clip that and then have Deadpool go superhero landing, superhero <laughs> landing. Well, listen, my friends, if you, <laughs> if you haven't watched episode one, get to it. Um, we're, we're, we'll do our best to do a little bit of spoiler. No, free. no, spoiler free. No, no, we're, we're going in. We're going in. If you don't want to hear about it, we're going in. It's a cartoon folks. It's 20 minutes, 22 minutes long. You gotta, you gotta just get in there. And if you didn't, if you didn't we're going to motivate you to go watch it. So episode one, we got a lot of turmoil going on. We got what Nola likes to call a lot of over accentuate. You just drink it from the bottom. <laughs> uh, that has not stopped. That is not I'm a not- new thing. Uh, <laughs> I swear to God, I saw your tongue go in the hole. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Focus. Bring it back. Okay. So we have a lot of. I just can't. This. I just. This. This. Josh. One second. Man, oh, first, first, you got the goddamn dick on the box, and now next. Whoa. 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 On. Whoa. Too much. All right. Wait, well, oh, Kyle. I'm just, I'm just trying to talk about <laughs> X-Men here. This shit has morphed out of my control. But okay, so we got it's a lot morphed. of turmoil. We got a lot of the team wondering what's going on. We got Cyclops trying to be the alpha coming in, leading the team. We got Jean Grey pregnant. You know? We, we got, got Morph fooling around with Wolverine. Yeah, okay. So, okay, so there's two... two in episode one, there's literally... Two major things that are f- getting flamed online. Number one is both happen in the kitchen scene. Number one is Gambit in the kitchen scene with the half cut rock shirt. I didn't have a problem with that. That was that was dude. That was a dude moment. It was like dude. Like you could think of him as like uh, one of them dude. One of the guys from like uh, neighbors or something like that from the frat house. 
And if, and if anyone, yeah, Kyle, he's got that personality of just like I, I'm, I'm awesome. Like, like I'm, you know. So, um, I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was necessary. What I didn't like more was Morph walking in as Professor Xavier, and he had like that saunter. Like, <laughs> and I was just like, oh man. Like just just how he portrayed him. Now again, he could have been like, "How do I portray a guy that's paralyzed from the waist down?" I mean, he should have crawled in on his arms, uh, Lieutenant Dan style. But, um, <laughs> but he came in, and then like I love the morph scenes, the morph and Wolverine scenes. I thought were phenomenal. yo when he changed in the saber, saber tooth, tooth and, that and was just, awesome. Yeah, and and, and he. he he got down to fight him. He was like, was "Yeah, like, oh, that man. was that was pretty badass." But when he was like Gene, I was like, "Oh, this is inappropriate." So who did he morph into? He morphed into Angel. He morphed into Psylocke. He morphed into oh, uh, he morphed into so many Lady people. Deathstroke. Lady Deathstroke in the Blob. Colossus. Colossus. Yeah. Blob. 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 Yeah, to bounce to rent Psylocke. Now I wait. Loved it. Now wait, I got to admit, I I was not a a huge fan of the original series. I wasn't really collecting comic books back then, so I didn't I didn't keep up with Morph. That dude can just literally turn into anyone and have their powers and shit. So he can like fly like Angel does. He's not just like a a a, a face. A he's not just a mimic. He can actually yeah, take over. The, he's probably a, one of the most badass X Men I've got to say. Goddamn. Yeah, he he was Angel and then popped out the wings and was like off. He was Archangel, goddamn it! And, like, and he how, was Arch, he was Archangel. How the hell does uh, Rogue become a doctor? I've never seen that type of skill or technique where she can learn how to deliver a baby. Yeah, she absorbs when when she does her thing. She absorbs uh, anyone's powers, skills, memories. It's the whole deal. Their entire persona gets absorbed into her. Ah. I thought it was like she gets their powers. I didn't even think she'd get their like their their knowledge and skills because I'm like she's gonna deliver this baby. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's why in the original X Men movie she was so important because she was the one that was gonna get the knowledge and the power to to be able to power that thing at the end. Magneto's Magneto's uh, Morpher, whatever it was. But yeah. I'll be honest with you, I was 100 percent cartoon over the original X Men movies. I loved X Men. Two X Men two out of the X Men one and two were, were was my favorite of all of them. I I couldn't get into three, but the cartoon series and again that's partially me. Like I grew up on cartoons, Batman the animated s series, um, Spider Man, um, X Men, some of the original Brave and the Bold, um, DC Unlimited, like Justice League. All the, I like I just love the cartoons. I think DC has won in the cartoon market, but I think X Men just has a staple. That when you hear that, you're you're in, like you're engaged, and uh, I I blew through two episodes first thing this morning. I I threw up a ten out of ten on episode one, and I threw up a nine out of ten mm. on episode two. And I the gave, only I gave number one a ten one, out of ten, a nine, and I, I gave I gave episode two an eight. So I'm at a nine and an eight. I'm just happy that in episode one they close, like they kind of like close the door on like the sentinels and trask and all of that so i was happy that they didn't delay that they didn't drag that out they just were like look this is what fans loved they loved the the group battle fight scenes that could be pulled off to this scale and like they went to the island and then it was like like junkyard like they came up out of the ground they were half manipulated like he was half working on them and it was just the battle i mean like I said, Morph turned into Blob to bounce Wolverine off his belly to cut off a sentinel head. Not only that, I don't know if you noticed or not, but Wolverine's claws were charged by Gambit. Yeah. 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 So Gambit charged his claws and then he bounced off Morph as Blob and cut off the dude's head. Take that. The, the, I mean, uh, obviously they fought the Sentinels so much they know how to defeat them really quickly. It It, it really wasn't that great of a battle in terms of the, the, the sentinels it was just more like what is this goddamn guy doing <laughs> <laughs> but what i thought was interesting was the actual uh you know january 2nd riot uh you know when let's let's take a page right out of u.s history in the past couple of years and let's storm the capital while people were in there, that was some shit. I was like, wow, they really yep. went there. And were you surprised? Well, 
Nola, what was his name? The guy that was taking the shot. They gave him a name. It was the executioner. Uh, the the executioner. executioner. Were you surprised that they brought him out, episode two, and how the, how that whole scene portrayed where Cyclops had to make the choice of staying with the group or going to Gene to have the baby? Like I just thought that was just well done. Like it was just oh well. That's I mean that's for me that's what I always grew up loving about comic books. It was it was you know how do the heroes pull off these impossible situations? Why well, I mean. You know, who does Spider-Man save? Does he save Gwen or does he, you know, let her fall to the... That's that's the... Th that's just the way that these things should be portrayed. And no, I'm not surprised they brought him out because this is all setting up the, the Genosha storyline. This is all going to be the... Where he takes the island and, and incorporates bits of Asteroid M into it. And yeah, so... Do you no. think? Do you think the character that took the shot should have been the character to take the shot? It was interesting. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he's a throwaway. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, he no, 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 no. Like a crossbones. No, 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 no. The character that took the shot for Magneto, the person. Oh, Storm. I tried. Yeah. I tried. I tried, try not to... I tried, try, folks. I tried. <laughs> no, no. You said we were gonna spoil. Yeah, it. let let me repeat what you said fucking ten minutes ago. Uh, these are 22 minutes. We're going all in. This is. I can't fucking have his shit, man. He's he's already off the chains. It's it's too early in the show. To let him get off like this. Uh, you better bring him back on because I have no input on X Men. You you completely are are hypocriting yourself, and I don't like it. You know what, Matt? That sounds man. like you ordered someone bro, bro, not relax. to touch a pheasant. Relax, and if they bro. touched the pheasant, they would die. And someone just touched the pheasant, and they had to die, Matt. So, That's what just all did. right, the, the cat's at the bag. Do you think Storm should have taken the shot? Yes. Fuck no. No. Yes. First of all, I don't think Cyclops should have left. Gene was there with Wolverine, and he should have he should have uh, stayed to to defend the the capital. I would have liked to have seen Cyclops take the shot because then exactly. he would because then he would have had such turmoil of. You chose not to leave to go deliver your child, and you took the shot. And Gene wanted the child to potentially be human, and now Cyclops lost his power to be a mutant. Okay, so this is Scamorza cheese with <laughs> with Manuka honey on an apple slice. Mm. I had to what, see what, that. What, what what is the thing where like people get grossed out when they hear you eat? Because like we just lost half our audience M in that one. Bite. No no no, it's a muck mukbang. Is it's what a the... mukbang. Yeah, I I had to see what the hell that was, man. That was that that this looked, honey this was, honey is good. I look like you was. Why are you raiding these people's uh, cabin like this, man? <laughs> <laughs> He's like take you don't find that honey just anywhere. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> it's from New Zealand. I was gonna right. say. That. That's New Zealand Manuka honey. That's and he just opened it too, like fresh. They they're gonna come back. Oh, hold on, honey. Hold on, Sans. Hold on for a sec. We we need to acknowledge the gentle flexing that's happening up in the other fucking corner with oh, yeah. with old boy and his popcorn bucket. Right. That he's trying to act like I, I, I'm just, I'm just enjoying the shit. show. Right, like, like I just, I just, we don't call this guy Bucket Man, man. He just, just all these goddamn buckets. Pay no, pay no attention to me and my uh, Ghostbuster trap popcorn bucket that nobody I has. Ghostbuster. That's right, Spider Boy. Show. Tell him, tell him, Jeff. So, so Storm takes the shot. She's basically more well non mutant. But she was so badass in the first two episodes. Like that was the storm that I loved. She was like, ah. Uh. But this happens in the See, that's the that's this the setup though, because Cyclops is gonna be gone. Magneto is gonna take over. There's a leadership void there because Storm is already without her power. She's exactly. gonna probably go into the Morlock thing where she, you know, she fights Callisto and and does all that shit. Uh, speaking um, of the Morlock, I got some some books over here. Yo. If you okay. guys need <laughs> not an influencer tonight, lock your shit up. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so she loses her powers in the comics. I like I like that they're kind of they're changing it because wasn't she supposed to protect Rogue in the comic? And instead, 
she protects Magneto. Now let's can we just talk about Magneto's outfit? <coughs> that outfit was like gala worthy. Like he was going to walk the runway with this super fashionable uh one piece. Now it looked a little bit more uh or classy than than the comic book version of it. My man cleaned up. I mean, look at you tonight. Look at me trying to imitate you tonight. And and you do it well, my friend. All I'm this saying was not it was not planned either for those of you who think that we were like backstage wearing finding matching hats and <laughs> this was nope. definitely planned. Uh, <laughs> overall, where do you give uh Nola, what do you give the the two episodes out of 10? I'll give them both a 9. That's not bad. Wow. I give That's them really both good. a 9 because the first one was just a, a wrap up, you know, uh, uh, this is, you know, where we're leaving from. And the next one was just a setup for okay. this is where we're going. So it's hard to knock those. Dude, the, the part in the second one where Magneto took them all up into like the fucking oh, stratosphere. <laughs> the one liners were a little bit like, oh, crazy. Yeah. But he was like, I, I don't make drop me you. drop you. <laughs> yeah, I could drop you. <laughs> He's like, hey, but he used it in, in kind of a punish way. He was like, "Don't make me drop you from this." Uh, well, they got they got him on trial to see if the, to to see if he can defend himself. So what's he do? He makes the fucking situation completely crazy and says, "Here, this is who I am now. <laughs> I could I could take you all the way up to space and drop you, or I could take you back down. I'm going to take you back down." Oh my gosh! So it's so, tough. so in the poll, we're seventy nine percent yes, I'll watch it. Twenty one percent no. Can, if if you feel comfortable, the person that said no, in in the chat, can you say why? I mean, and, and judgment free, you can say you don't like the non-binary nonsense with morph. You can say you don't like the costume that they had Gambit in. You could just say, "Fuck it, I hate X Men. I'm, I'm an Avengers guy. I just I'm curious why." Because I'll be honest with you, all day today, I saw people bitching about Gambit's costume in every post. I was like. Shut the fuck up. It was still a great show. All is there day only, today. Is there only one no vote? Uh, I don't know. There's Let me see how many votes. There's uh, 14 votes. We're probably looking at two. two. 12 okay. and two. So I am I am one of those two, and it's just because I have no interest in X-Men. Oh. It's literally that simple. You. you are so lucky I don't have the power that Matt has right now. You would be yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. If you told me to watch Avengers or watch the X Men, I'm X Men all day, man. Interesting, all day. Interesting. Okay, I was always an X Men and uh, over Avengers myself. I like. Uh... Did you really say no, Jeff Silversmith? Because because that's some shit, and I'm mad at you for that. <laughs> <laughs> so son of a bitch. So this this show has promise. Um, it, it, we think we know what direction it's going. Nola how, gave us some hints in terms of absolutely. the storyline. Um, how many and, episodes do we know before I go look? I assume it's eight or ten. That's what they usually do. It's already been renewed for another season, supposedly. Yeah, they already shot two seasons, I believe, and they were on the way to a third season. Can we talk about this? Without... How do they shoot it? It's done on a computer. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Um, can we talk about this without getting into the controversy of X Men already? Even before the the premiere of the show, the director. Hold that thought. Yes, we got a guest. I like Dark Phoenix. We got a guest. We do have a guest, and I like Rogue. What is your guess that this guy got fired for what? No, get, get yeah. with a T, with a T, G U E S T. Hey, Lady Fantastic! <laughs> Lady Fantastic Lady, Fantastic Lady is here. What's up? I've been listening to your opinions. All right, hey, yeah, that's, that's, all, that's all, I, I, I all we your have. Is Let's go. What's your um, thought of this show? I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna watch it uh, tonight. Uh, she said she would watch it. So that's all yeah, yeah, I. But I would choose X Men over uh, Avengers any day. Cool. We like this. Love this you. That should have been the poll right there X Men or Avengers. I'm Cliff like said, slowly losing oh, my position yeah. in this show. Uh, there it is, Cliff. Just, 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 to be, just to be clear on the X Men Avengers front, the only reason there ever was a fucking Avengers movie is because they couldn't make an X Men movie. 
That's the only reason there's an Avengers movie. This is true. They would have went. They would have went X Men first, and then MCU. They would have gone X Men. They would have gone FF. They would. Uh, dude, Iron Man is a third rate hero, and the Avengers are a third rate team. That's all. Yet okay. they made people love him, which is amazing. Just like they made us love Guardians of the Galaxy. They made us love, I was about to say, just like they made us love the Guardians. They're rinky dink. They're like eight nobody strength. could give a f about. Yeah. Now, are you drinking anything tonight, lady? Not, not, not alcohol. No. Oh, you might want to because Nola has some questions for you. Oh, uh, you God. can ask. I can. I'm... Oh. And Kyle's oh, gonna... Kyle, Kyle, might... Kyle things over here. I might be partaking in the Lord's kale. But not. <laughs> the devil's lettuce. The, yeah, no, the Lord's kale. Fire is raging. I try to be positive. <laughs> this is this is a live positive view fire. of inside Nola's well, heart. I, I, no, it's like his asshole. I've got, some, uh, <laughs> I've got some beer. I guess I could I could grab a beer. If you no, want. no, do not be influenced by Matt and ha and feel like you have to drink it. Like me, yeah, yeah, I haven't no said shit here. about drinking. You son of a bitch! Don't you throw me under the bus? <laughs> you rather me than Nola get on you? So, no, I'd rather know it because then I at least have no rebuttal. I just shut my mouth and listen. Go, there you go, go ahead, and say listen. it. You'd rather have me get on you. Say it, Matt. I had to totally change the subject there. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't go down that rabbit hole. It was a trap. Admiral Akbar told me it's a trap. It's yep. a trap. All it's right. a trap. What's up? So since since <laughs> since the promo has been run, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try and do a community spotlight on someone different every show that we do, whether that's an already scheduled guest or whether we schedule someone like the amazing Caroline here to come on and talk to us. Uh, we're gonna have a little round table discussion and talk with Caroline about her history as a collector and that sort of thing. And then we're going to end with my 10 questions of doom. So, so Caroline, what got you into collecting? Uh, what got me into collecting? Uh, yeah. To the, the covers. Um, so, uh, as a kid, um, I saw, you know, at a at a um, yard sale, a stack of old Avengers comics for like twenty five cents each. I was, you know, she so, said Avengers. I said, but that's <laughs> that's it. Okay, so the thing and and it looked amazing and mesmerizing to a seven year old. You know, um, so they he this teenage kid was selling all his old comics, and they were like Avengers from the late seventies, uh, early eighties. And uh, I would um, get a couple of bucks from my grandma, run down the a few houses and get buy buy a few of his old Avengers and and read them as if they were true because they were. Why would they not be true to my <laughs> seven year old self? Duh. And my fucking mind was blown. And that was the beginning. And you know, consequently. Probably only a couple of years after that, then we've got the X Men animated series, and then oh my gosh! As soon as I found out about X Men, um, I had to get you there know was like, earlier X Men animated series. There was one in the early nineties. Oh, 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 got it, got it, got it. Yeah. I thought, you, thought you were talking the eighties. No, no. So I was born in eighty four. So in about 91, 92, I was first getting my comic. I book. swear I just heard you say you was running around in the 70s. No, I said the Avengers were the Avengers that this guy had for sale were from the late 70s or the Ah, 80s. thank you, thank you. You did turn you did turn your hearing aid on, right? Well, I just I want to apologize real quick because generally when we invite guests on, we try to listen to them rather than just like fucking make up shit. I no, was I, I, I did not. I, that's why I was asking questions. I, I apologize for Sands trying to sabotage this segment, lady. I, All right. I mean, so lady, I, the, spot, I, the spotlight's on you. Please continue. Please, please. No, no. So, yeah. Um, 
the guy was selling. So this was in the early nineties, a dude, uh, a teenage dude having a yard sale with his family was selling his old comics and they were from, excuse me, the um, early eighties or sorry. Yeah. Early eighties, late seventies. Okay. And so that's what I bought and I was enthralled with it. Um, you know, and then I saw the X-Men um, cartoon and, you know, they had like the Batman movie was out. So I was familiar with comic properties, you know, um, Spider-Man, of course, but he never really tickled my fancy. Um, but the X-Men hit and a lot of them were based off Claremont storylines. And so I went to the, to the comics, mm -hmm. um, to the X-Men comics. And I was able to find a lot of those in um, those stories, those same stories in the comics. And, you know, it's, it's, it's been an, a sickness ever since like, you know, I've I actively collected until about, I would say, age 16, 17. And then, like, still kind of got comics here and there. Um, and then in college, the MC, uh, well, that was, like, I started collecting comic cards again in college. And then a little bit after that, um you know, I didn't really collect a ton, but around 2015, 2016, I started getting into it again. I try to be quiet during Noah's segment, but what was like your prize number one comic? Like that comic that it, you could have like, the pages could have fallen apart because you read it so much. 101, X-Men 101. Nope. And and next to that, it would have been 129. Um, the real 129, by the way, not that Punisher bullshit. We're not that fucking amazing ASM bullshit. What? Kitty Pride, baby, and, Kitty Pride uh, and Emma Frost. Frost and the Hellfire Club. Yeah, the introduction of which the one real is worth Club. more money? Yeah. So the the um, you know, I also loved the um Alpha Flight. So like. 109, 121, or 120 and 121. Like, oh my Alpha god. Alpha Flight was cool as hell. Yeah, um, Weapon Alpha or whatever. So, you know, yeah. Um, really would have just 101 was the one that I would have just bore out. So, what got you involved in the online comic community? Okay, so, um, chance random serendipity um because oh, I, thought were, I thought you were crediting I thought that me. you were addressing nola i did too uh, <laughs> no not your ass no um, <laughs> not that chance a different a different chance like no, it hurts. um so i had switched over usually to to youtube almost exclusively because like it's it's my cable now or whatever I just use it for my source of TV and um, I somehow got and I hit, I hit a video and it was this guy that had bought a huge collection of comics and he started showing them off one after one. Okay. And I'm like, Oh, and when I clicked on that, then it was like other shows or other things populated on the side that were like people showing off comics. And then I went like, Oh my God. And just watched a shit ton of it. Watched so much of it. And then I got to the point to where it's like, okay, I want to do this. Cause like I have books. I'm so much cooler than all these motherfuckers. No, um, you know, it, no, it's just probably, like probably. <laughs> it's like if they could do it, I could do it, right? And I want to show my stuff because I'm a kid, you know. Um, and I wanted to play in the sandbox, and uh, so that's what I did. Yeah, cool. and then um, I started getting, you know, people started being receptive and kind, and um you know, bigger channels, you know, recognize me and do like a shout out and promote me like Rod the Recon, like he was one of the first ones. And, um, you know, that's, that's how I grew. Just you know. are some of your comic influences. You are hilarious lady. 
Who were some of my comp? Oh, oh, comedic, not like comedic influence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gilda Radner. You saw um, Gene Wilder, Mel Brooks. Um, let's see, uh, Richard Pryor. Oh, um, I see. I get it. I you get know, it. Um, George Carlin. Um, okay. You know, uh, people perfect. like uh, Janine Garofalo. I thought was really always pretty funny. Um, I liked, uh, let's see, Maria Bamford, Brian Pesane was funny. Patton Oswalt is funny. Um, you know, I, I liked the cause before shit got weird. Um, <laughs> you know, and uh, Larry David Seinfeld. Um, there's a lot of different comedy that I really, early SNL Monty Python is a huge influence. Oh, um, absolutely. British Always um, look on the bright side. There's of some life. there's some interesting British comedy stuff. Yeah, um there's the the young ones. So there was this insurgence of underground eighties comedy in Britain and that mm. whole group that resulted in like things like the young ones, um bottom not and also um uh yeah ab fab. Ab fab um, and yep. okay. I love Abab. Um, Jennifer Saunders um, uh, can do no wrong, in my opinion. I loved her and Don French, French and Saunders. Um, uh, Don French did Vicar of Dibley, um, <clears throat> a bunch of shit. She's really funny. So I've got a lot of different comedic influences. Yeah. I just say that because you are quick witted and you, you do not uh, cut down on your banter. Like any show I see you on, you can, you can hang with anyone. So. I love shit talk. It's so much fun. Um, for me, words are my medium. You know, some Fair. people like worms. Worms, Roxanne. Worms. Yeah, it's fun for me. I wordplay is it's. I like entertaining myself, and I like yeah. I like going tit for tat. I'm just sassy. I've always been. I like Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, uh, he's like, um, he also did, what was that show? Um, Mr. It was Bean. Not Mr. Bean, but it's before that. Um, oh, Black, uh, Adder. Black Adder. Black Adder. Black Adder. Adder, Black Adder, sorry. Adder, yeah. yeah. That was really phenomenal. Funny. Yeah. All right. So we got any more background questions from Miss Caroline before we subject her to the ultimate torture? Put her in the seat. Uh, Put her in the hot seat. Oh, can I say one? I have one thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I usually find myself more interested in what uh caroline is doing in real life with like lab work and stuff yes, the lab mice. That, that that shit fascinates the fuck out of me and i'm just all on board i'm like a i'm like a battery nerd i like am designing a battery on the side mm. any anything scientific i'm on board so cool yeah um so i started a new job in december in december oh, even december speaking. december um it's in a new lab. It's at the same place. It's at Vanderbilt but yeah. cool. with a different professor and lab. And it's like six times the size. of the. So there's nice. like 35 people in it. And now I'm doing like a, a managing position. So I'm not um, doing direct lab work anymore. I want to be right. able to get back to that. But I told them, I promised them that I would help them get their financial budget shit together first and so I'm, I'm helping get that dealt with, and then I can go back and play some more. But they design um, anti-cancer and antiviral drugs, but by using very cool, unique molecular strategies that um, instead of like trying to knock out or poison, it mm -hmm. um, actually recruits uh, natural cellular machinery um, to degrade the protein. So it targets the protein of interest for degradation instead of adding something toxic. It's fascinating. So instead of like complete destruction, it slows its growth. Well, no, it recruits the cellular, um, 
machinery that uh, that kills proteins, that degrades proteins. Okay. So it's that this molecule one on one end can bind the protein of interest with high affinity, and on the other uh, end recruits the um, E3 ligase proteasome, which degrades um, proteins. And you so it's can this select gene. which protein, like yes. specifically. That's yeah, because you get the nuts. medicinal chemist to crystallize wow. the protein, That's and then you dope. get the structure, activity, function, and relationship, and then you mm. create ligands that bind with high affinity to certain regions. And then on the other end, you put that E3 ligase, um, the cellular recruitment shit that huh. recruits the um, the uh, proteasome. For yeah, I, oh, it's I so sick. It. No, you don't understand. Like I'm writing a comic book about something very similar to what you just said that's oh, wild like good science is based on creativity it's okay. based on using technologies that are already known but mm -hmm. to piggyback off of known like mechanisms it, yeah. it, it's it's like trojan horse kind of thinking how can we mm -hmm. utilize certain things and get oh, okay not virus computer trojan horse but like the actual trojan horse kind of creativity conceptual trojan horses but yeah, yes there are molecular enough. trojan horse concepts that right. i have utilized i understand that's so fucking cool sweet yeah. all right Wait, Lane, are you ready are you ready uh, yeah. God, yeah. if i had smoke in a light show i would do that right now but i don't so i'm just gonna ask you the first question okay in pop culture who is your favorite character could be comics movies tv books whatever you want it to be God damn. I know, right? Gilda. Gilda. All right. Um, There's no right or wrong answer. Just first thought that pops in your brain. Well, honestly, for me, to think there's somebody that I really liked that I thought it uh, interacted with a lot of really popular characters. And that was Dick Cavett. There you go. For guys, for, for those who don't know, Dick Cavett was a, a, a great talk show host from back in the day, had the Dick Cavett show asked uh, sort of pre Johnny Carson. I said, was he better than Johnny Carson? Cause, cause that's I my think so. talk he show was host. sexier. He was a way better. He was a way better interviewer than Johnny. Yeah, Bond. he was more. He was more intellectual, nerdier. Yeah, but like dry humor and interviewed a lot of really cool people. I don't know. Johnny Carson has some of the best one-liners I've ever heard in my childhood. Yeah, well, you have limited exposure, so I was about to say, Matt, come on, fucking Pennsylvania. All right, so rude. Flip flip side of that question: Who's your least favorite pop culture character? <laughs> you can say mad if you want to. It's what we usually do. Who is my least favorite pop culture? It's like if it's least, I don't even bother myself. Like if you, right? if you see somebody on the cover of a book, who are you just gonna fucking walk right by? If you see them on the cover of a book, or on TV, or. Oprah Winfrey. Nice. I don't know. I, don't, I can't fucking stand Elon Musk. I think he's a douche. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I think he's the biggest tool bag ever. Camera off. So that we have the audio of shunning. He's not Elon. smart. He's a good, he's a brilliant marketer. Mm -hmm. He's very charismatic, not an intellect. Fair. Well, if uh if 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 our show gets cut off, you'll know why. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Dang it, my star. Right. Question number three. What superpower would you want? I know. I told you it's the ten questions of doom. Telekinesis. Telekinesis. Mm. Yeah, I'd be lifting bitches up with my mind. I am the finest. <laughs> you would not be even, and I'd be lifting myself up. Through telekinesis, you can get a lot shit done. All right, flip side. 
Which one would you not want to have? What is your what is your least favorite superpower? What would you just make you a little bit crazy if you could do it? I wouldn't want to be rubbery like Plastic Man or Reed Richards. I think that's <laughs> stupid. I wouldn't want that. Fair. <laughs> or uh, right. the lady from uh, The Incredibles. Yeah. Bendy. I don't want that. No Bendy? <laughs> All right. So, we know you're going to be a te uh, telekinetic. What would your secret identity be? Would you still be a? Would you still be some sort of microbiologist out there toiling away in the labs by day? Biochemist. Yeah, I was guessing. Um, if I was telekinetic, what would be a least assuming? Probably not a moving company. The most unassuming position. An elevator operator. <laughs> uh I'd be like a fucking nanny. Be a fucking Not a lot of nanny secret identities out there. I'd be Fair a enough. nanny. I'd be throwing them babies against the wall. Diapers flying everywhere. Oh, what was it? Um Robin Williams nanny. I can't think of it. Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire and that shit up. Oh yeah. Fuck it. I'd be a nanny. All right. Hello. All right, so you're nanny by nanny, nanny by day, telekinetic superhero slash villain by night. What would your name be? Say it. <laughs> it's it's already there. <laughs> I mean, I could be Lady Fantastic. There you go. Or I could be Miss Moves. Miss Moves. Miss Moves. <laughs> kind of love it. Kind of love it. Moves like Jagger. Watch out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a villain move right there. I like it. Would you be uh, good or bad, I guess, is the question there. It depends on the day. Exactly. It depends on the client that she's nannying for. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so so now we've got your character, the incredible Miss Moves, mm -hmm. Nanny by Day. Who gets to play you in a movie? Who gets to play Miss Moves? Aubrey Plaza. Nice. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So that's my, that, my, my that's, answer was in the comments. That's that's those seven. We're gonna move on to a little different vein here, and we kind of already asked you this one. But what is the uh, what's the the primary story that got you started into the whole pop culture collecting fantasy thing? But we already kind of talked about that. Yeah, I mean, it would be Phoenix Saga, really. Yeah, yeah. Jeff Silmersmith wants Zendaya to play me. All right, man. <laughs> that seems practical. <laughs> All right, question nine. Get him out of here. <laughs> what is your holy grail? What is the one thing out there that if you could just like have it, doesn't have to be expensive, doesn't have to, it's, it's whatever would make your heart feel fullest. GSX one. GSX. Okay. There you go. All right, last question. Question number 10. We've made it through. So. What creator or creators, living or dead, would you most like to meet, and what would you say to them? Could be artists, could be actors, could be whatever you want it to be. Biochemists. So just anybody? Say that again. Say All the right. question again. So what creator, living or dead, would you most like to meet, and what would you like to say to them? God damn, that's a tough question. I said that last time, too. I saved, I saved the only important question for the end. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, that's that, like l- legit. Like, and it's a twofer. I try and lull everyone into a sense of false security and then hit them with the actual depth there's, question. There's people that I'd want to meet, but like not talk to. And that's fine too. I would I would want to go back to Socrates. Ooh. And okay. I, would, I would ask him what justice means. Wow. Well, that's that's would deeper you, than anyone else will probably go. So yeah. would, you, <laughs> would you debate his answer? But if it's Ooh. um yeah, probably. Um if if it's just like comics, honestly, like just straight up on my mind, Ditko, Squirrel Girl was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that is that is our ten questions of doom here on Wine, Cheese, and Comics. Please, would you like to let the people know if you're up to anything? Would you uh, yeah. got to be doing anywhere? Anywhere we can catch you? So shameless plug. Monday at uh, um, I want to say it's six thirty-five on um, S Vaughn eighty-two, Scotty Vaughn eighty-two, um, comic book addicts. Trish Forstner is going to be on there talking about, is it called Feral? Yeah, her new um, book, Feral, and uh, it comes out that next Wednesday. So be there. Um, it'll be awesome. She was on Stray Dogs, and uh, we're gonna, we, got, we got some questions. Cool. Well, yeah. Caroline, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, coming out and hanging out with us for a little bit and talking to us and sharing a little bit of your history. Uh, you're more than welcome to hang around if you want to. You can hang around for the rest of the show. Yeah, uh, your questions are hard. Well, you know. Well, it's just hard to, you know, it takes time. You know, if I've really got to think about some of that shit. Well, look, it's like, do you want to be shallow about it or you really want to be, like, profound? Right. Well, I think I think either way is the way to go. Uh, since, since we've kind of been a more in-depth on your questions than most people will probably take them. These are actually Marcel Proust used to have a series of questions that he thought was like a, you know, just set kind of a baseline to, to find out what kind of person you are. And then, yes. and then that was transformed. And then James Lipton on actor studio. kind I, of took That's over. where I really was introduced to this kind of forum was actor yeah, studio. Exactly. So, you know, it just seems like a fun way to, to get people on here and, and offer some insight and play around a little bit or want to meet Socrates and ask him what is justice. Either way. What do I mean? You know, it's just like, what are I? No, that's the thing. It's a, it's an awesome answer. It's just one that most people probably, you know, aren't expecting. So, yeah, like I love Noah it. Said, you're more than welcome to stay. And we're about to transition to what? To, to what? I don't even know. To What's next, boy? We need a video. We don't. We don't have a video for this because the this, problem the is, video, is that the video this, didn't this work video out. That didn't work out. So let me let me let me get my persona. Oh Jesus! Can somebody just go in the background? Can somebody just go? Boopity boop boop. We have litigants entering the courtroom. They have opinions. They have answers. But it is up to the chat and it is up to Judge Promiscuous Time Traveler to come to us. Get them the fuck out of here. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. No. No. So. <laughs> there, there was a there that was, was like a, a weird seance. That and, was like we, we invoked Jeff for a minute to, there. To Jeff and Lady Fantastic. I will say it first because everybody else has had a chance to uh culminate on it. We are deciding on what is the best superhero emblem. Superhero emblem. It can be the chest plate that they have it can be the thing in the sky it can be anything it can be their logo it could be what they have on the side of their motorcycle or car what is the best superhero emblem we are all going to present it we're going to come to a consensus and the chat is going to help us decide who goes first i know Uh, i know what the winner is the winner has to be what is it the punisher logo the OG, the, the OG or the the, the new o, one? The OG <laughs> original Punisher logo. 
okay. has been utilized across By so every douchebag in America. Yep, from every platform to every bumper sticker. It to might as well every... be a douchebag. I'm just saying, there is no symbol that has been readily used. Like you don't see people spray painting the bat symbol on them. You don't you see know those uh, cops in Uvalde spray- that didn't save those kids. They they had cell phones with that fucking logo on it. Well, big big tough guys. Oh, I, I'm not saying it's a good symbol. I know that's, that's saying, besides the point. I'm, I'm just saying, saying that's the symbol that literally you can't. Yeah, you can't. It Make literally. It don't matter where it is. It's unmistakable. When you see it, you know that's it. Punisher logo. Punisher logo from Matt. I like it. I like it. Noler or Jeffrey. What's up, Jeffrey? How are you tonight? Oh, I'm doing great. I mean, I just <clears throat> love this wonderful conversation you guys are having. Why do, why do we let him talk? Like, can we just can we just stop letting him Hold talk? Hold on, Matt, is that crossbones? Is that a crossbones helmet? No. That's 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 Iron Man with the Punisher. It's the the montage and oh, because it looks a lot like the crossbones helmet. This was given to gifted to my son from uh, the the charity event from Wolverado, and my son will wear this playing Xbox. That's why it's so close to me. It's like right on my couch. He will literally put this on playing Fortnite, and he will wear it. Boys are so fucking cool. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we got the Transformer logo as a top. From the chat, Rad Art says Transformers. Transformers right. logo. Okay, so we have Punisher and Transformers. I'm just getting PNGs. I'm gonna, gonna skip them. all and go out of left field with the greatest American hero, Captain America. No, I don't even know what the greatest American hero's logo was. So that's a that's a bold <laughs> choice. What is the Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. Yes. I never thought I could feel so free. All right, so from the chat, we have, I got a color version of it, Transformers logo. What is your, what is your stance? The greatest 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 logo right there, Jeff Silversmith. (laughs) Perfect. Perfect. Greatest American hero, my friend. What is the greatest American hero? TV show. A TV show from the 80s. I wasn't born in the I'll show you the greatest logo. I, I can't. I, I don't I don't even know what to say. That, that you're choosing that. Yes. Sans clearly mailing it in again. Yes. Oh, <laughs> shit, folks. There you oh, go. Yep. Yep. All right, yep. Captain America, that's fair. We got the red, white, and blue shield with a star in the center. <clears throat> Nothing is more iconic than Captain America punching Hitler square in the face. Now we are waiting for a serious answer from Nola and Orca. <clears throat> Jeffrey, what you got? Um, any day now. Oh, what's what's that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Did you pull that out from somewhere? I missed it. <laughs> I would, uh, I don't know if this considered a, a superhero logo, but I like the logo of the Rebellion in Star Wars. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that works. That, that, that works. is an amazing that one. Yeah. Uh, that, that may be the Punisher, in my opinion. So, Jeff, I have a, uh, I have a, well, when I ever get my car back uh, from my dad, on top of my, I, I drive a Jeep or drove a Jeep. Uh, on top of my Jeep, there's a printout, and it's half Rebel Alliance and half Galactic Empire, and that's that's what's on top of um, the the vehicle that I'll have eventually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's a good one. I, oh, that's a really good one. Nola, what you got? All right. First of all, someone needs to take this seriously. I mean, if we're gonna have this discussion, we can't throw out shit like the greatest American hero. Well, it's, well, not, it's, it's not a bad logo. I, I, mean, I it's don't. Not, think it's, it's a dope logo, right, Cal? I, I, I don't think it's a bad logo. It's What's pretty that? freaking cool. No, it's not that it's not a bad logo, but who knew what that was before you showed it to him? No one. Yeah. I would think that's yeah. an anal prude. I bet even. To me. I bet even. Sam, I bet even Sam's didn't know exactly what the logo was. He was just making shit up to be. You no, know sure. what? For the first time, I'm I'm done being like this guy. 
<laughs> Be your own you. All right. So I, I, mean, I don't want to make this my answer, but I'm going to make this my answer because it's the obvious choice and someone needs to take this shit seriously. So um, Captain, Captain America is pretty Batman. serious. Batman. Go ahead, Sam. It's, no, I'm waiting. I'm it's waiting. Right there. He doesn't have to say it. It's right there. It's right there. A floor it looks like there. it it's looks the Batman like a, logo. The Batman logo. But it looks Batman like logo. it's like a Saints. Uh, well, yeah, that's thing. my own <laughs> depiction of it. But it's that's, uh, that's is that's it the Batman own, logo or is it your it's logo? Not, no, the Batman, Batman logo. It's the Batman it's logo in the Fort Alley. But this is just no. This is just my take on it. But the actual Batman logo, the bat on his chest. Yep. Got I'm it. telling you, they were the top two. Punisher or Batman logo. They, you, you, they were the, the biggest two, hands down. Bigger than well, Spider-Man? Oh, hell yeah. No one is going around like, ha oh, ha, look at my spider. Bigger than the S on the chest? Jack, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. the S on the chest is the other one. Oh, don't Let's worry. Go. I got that For mine, I got the, the <clears throat> other version of the S on the chest. Um, the um, one that I was going to suggest is, you know how Superman has the S- I was going to say Power Girls version of that S. The boob window? What? No, no, no. The 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 logo for Power Girl, like the one that she wears on her chest. Power Girls boobs? Her cleavage? No, no, no. Yeah. It's a, it's it's the the window. The P. The window the, P. <laughs> no, no, my my honest answer is, is is the S for Superman. So yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, do you think that we can uh, briefly put? I'm gonna I'm gonna honestly pick one of them. You don't have to put Superman's S, but we're in between Batman's logo, uh, uh, Greatest American Hero logo, Captain America no, Shield. Mine is mine is, mine is a, a honorable mention. Yours, <laughs> <laughs> the boob window. The this I think Superman S has to be in there though. Like you can't not have it. What's the um, what's the options? Batman, Superman, Batman, Superman, Captain America, Greatest American Hero, and uh, Punisher, 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 and the Transformers, Transformers, <clears throat> and the Star Wars Rebellion, oh, and Star Star Wars Rebellion. Star Wars Transformers Rebellion. came from Transformers chat. came from the chat. We can only get four. We can only get four. Well then, let's. Well, that's for me to decide then. Okay, yes. cool. So, uh, Batman, uh, Rebellion, uh, what, Kyle Captain with Star America, Wars, no Captain, way. Amer Captain America, and Punisher. Yeah, no, we'll go between those four. We'll go Batman, Punisher, Captain America, and Star Wars Rebellion. All right. So, but what is like? Is it the most well known or the most respect? Like, what is the parameter in this? Best. Like, am I the best? Just the best. <laughs> yeah, the best. No, I, I thought like the most the internationally recognized. Fair. That right. could also be the best. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's Batman. Okay. I think of those, it's on, Batman. Logo. then go go into the YouTubes and 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 vote Batman. I'm not voting for shit. I'm gonna. What vote. is the what is the Power Girl logo? I do not. There see. ain't none. Titty there crack. Ain't none. It was a joke. Ah, <laughs> you got me, you son of. It was. It was supposed to be Superman. The Superman S logo was going to be my my so, my pick. The <laughs> sand blows the assignment, takes this thing completely unseriously, and then doesn't even get the joke at the end. That's no. all. But he's also designing the. Uh, right, he's also cool. making the the vote. Yeah. I'm Let's see what the chat cool. thinks. We have twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five right now. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> I don't have it out. I can't see. You can't see what the the poll is in stream yet. All right, so so here we go. Just because Sans came up with this while we're waiting for some people yes. to answer the polls. Yes. Quick answers. First thought: most underappreciated logo, like most overlooked. Overlooked, kind of like the greatest American hero. <laughs> most overlooked. Most overlooked logo. Um, you know what I'm gonna say. Green Lantern. Phoenixes. No, Green Lantern is not overlooked. I think there's other people that would be far below Green Lantern. Right. Like, but I, I would say Green Arrow, and then, like I said, like Hawkeye would be most overlooked in, uh, compared to Green Arrow. What, what is, is Hawkeye's, what is Hawkeye's logo? logo? I was going to say, they don't have logos. 
What's that fucking logo? Who are you? He's just naming people that shoots bows. Okay. He's like, anybody that shoots an arrow can't be a superhero. All right, so right now we're at Batman is well in the lead. Let's let's think about it as the most underappreciated logo. How about that? So you don't take the Hawkeye eyes with the H as his logo? Like you don't, you don't, I don't you know. Don't do I've never I've never called for a Hawkeye. Like, like, am I, like, the only one that's ever looked at Hawkeye's logo because I played the original Avengers arcade game and that was next to his name? Like, is that a, so. is that a thing? Guys, do y'all realize Matt's still talking? <laughs> I I really don't know why. Um, uh, how about the Wonder Woman logo? The right. double W? I think it's been pretty uh, pretty prolific, the Wonder Woman logo. Well, that's, I mean, but this is just, in, in your opinion, this is just... Thundercats? I like rad. You know, like what's that? I was going to say, Thundercats is a great one. What's that logo out there that you're like, damn, that's cool? He-Man? See, like I, I oh. like Lady said, I love uh, Phoenix's logo. Phoenix's logo is fucking great. You know whose logo gets no respect? The R. You got Batman. <laughs> the R gets no fucking respect. Robin? Robin. Circular oh, R. Robin. Okay, I, fair Robin, enough. Robin gets more respect than Aquaman. Not even. Again, what's the logo? It's the I fucking like, Aquaman. Like, are you kidding me? A little me? A looking thing. Oh, yeah, like, like what the fuck? You can't come out here with these logos and not know any character's logo. But Aquaman's logo is really Star Trek's logo, so it's yeah. not the same. <laughs> you need to get their own logo. I like the Robin, the R gets no love, man. I like the lightning bolt logo. <sighs> the flash. Of the storm of the flash. Thank you, Kyle, for throwing up the A. Oh, that was Nolan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, did we get a poll answer? What's the deal? Batman all day. Bat Batman, Batman, Batman all day. Batman, Batman with fifty percent of the him. poll. I was trying to get a light on in the background so that people don't come behind me and murder me. Dude, it got super dark real fast where you are. Yeah, it got really dark. So there we go. Uh, so yeah, Batman, we have decided that is the judgment. That is the 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 jury, the executioner. Doom, doom. Punisher has failed. Superman has failed. The Superman boob window has failed. There. Rebel Rebels have failed. The Galactic Empire took over, and uh, yeah, Batman's our winner. <laughs> window, win, winner. Winner. <laughs> the fuck did you drink tonight? Off the, Taylor Winder. Uh, somewhere Winder. in between wine and Guinness. Yeah. Off, off the cuff, the Horde logo from World of Warcraft. Ooh, Ooh. Lion, that's lion. A pretty good. All that's a pretty good a logo. All day. What all day? I, how did I know you were gonna say that, Matt? You. The Phantom, the, man. The Phantom. The, uh, that Phantom right. logo gets no respect because of the punch. Uh, so next time, next time we will have uh we'll have it like an actual intro, but it's it's kind of on me. So well, we we got about ten minutes before we go into our March Madness pick. Then we brought Jeff Silversmith on here to talk about the new age Japanese Game of Thrones. So we want to give him his ten minutes to talk about this Perfect. show. Jeffrey, what did you think of five episodes so far, good sir, of the legendary Shogun? Well, of course, you all know that it's a remake of the 1980 book series, yes? Yeah, that 80 series looked, uh, <laughs> oh, that looked, Richard, that looked Richard, rough. Ch Richard Chamberlain was the yep. star of that series. And uh, <clears throat> that was one of my favorite series is back in the day when I, I was actually almost a teenager and all of you, every one of you weren't even born yet. Does that make Whoa. it like 70? Or, or just barely born. Whoa. That like, was that like 89? I call, I call bullshit on that statement, sir. I don't. I, no, I wasn't born yet. You know I'm way yeah. older than you. No way. <clears throat> sir, I, remember, I, remember Sh I remember Shogun. I remember James Clavell. So I was a uh, yeah I was a young tyke uh, when this came out. Uh, great TV series. Oh, I see. Um, what? He's just messing with the settings right now. It's, it's throwing everybody off who's paying attention. 
but it was uh yeah and this one has kind of a different twang to it it's a little definitely has a different vibe of course so. it's, a little, it's a little more modern it's a little more bloodthirsty than the original mm -hmm. uh, from 1980 but so it's still, uh, it still has the same same type of feel though uh, to me as the 1980 version do you think do you think Matt's assessment is pretty accurate? Is it the Japanese Game of Thrones? I was no. gonna say that if you were to put this up against episode one of Game of Thrones, would you say that they would be comparable as far as show quality and keeping you on the edge of your seat? Show quality and keeping you on the edge of your seat, yes. Okay. But not comparable. Why? They both have political agendas. <clears throat> they both have Different houses competing against each they're, other. They're, you they're, gotta, not, they're not comparable at all because Shogun was an uh, an actual thing his, that occurred, his historical event. I I get that. So I just I can't compare them to a fantasy fiction uh, series. Uh, this is just something I mean, that is actually don't listen to Matt. And this is part of the annals of our times. So I mean, I I just find it. I, I, I do enjoy Game of Thrones, but I find this way more interesting because it was a real, a real occurrence. So, uh, now, of course, I'm sure they've expanded or, or had, uh, what, what would you say, um, their own uh, version of this. To say that, of course, it's, it's based on it, but of course, not all true. Yeah, it's not quite commercialization, but it's more of like... Stretching yeah. the truth. G dramatic, dramatic. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So Lady, I want to fight you... Lady Fantastic over that Lord <laughs> of the Rings versus Game of Thrones. Like, I want to throw down with you on that because Lord, Lord of the Rings, Rings books, than Lord Game of the Rings of books, maybe Lord of the Rings movies versus yes. Game of Thrones. Yes. Not, not in this, not in this universe. Okay. Movies are greater as well. Um, episode five, Jeff. Was was it a conundrum to you? <laughs> When you saw the pheasant hanging up and 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 rotting and leading to the epic, you know, death of the gardener, what, how did that strike you? Well, it's all symbolism. I mean, symbolism is was huge in, as Noah can say, his symbols with his eyeballs rolling. But <clears throat> all of that uh, stuff was symbolism back in the day. It was just uh, there were things that were done that, oh, look at that. Oh, we better not do this next because otherwise, you know, we're going we're gonna to end up dead. So there, <clears throat> it didn't surprise me. So, no, I wasn't surprised about what occurred uh, but I, I definitely uh, saw the symbolism of it. So five episodes, one to ten score. How are you scoring it right now? I'm an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. okay. I haven't watched so, the most recent episode, so I'm, I'm an episode behind. But I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving every bit about it. So Tor, Toranaga uh, is actually supposed to be Ieyasu Tokugawa. Um. And that is like where the like Japanese like rich like samurai aspect comes into comes into play. What time um, is this during like the seventeen or eighteen hundreds? Sixteen. Sixteen hundred. Yeah. Feudal Japan. Feudal. Yeah. So, uh, actually, literally, like it's like uh, the the Sonadas, the Zawas, uh, Hideyoshi. Tornaga, mm -hmm. I don't actually think Toranaga was supposed to be Tokugawa. I think it was the leader of the five regions that each. Well, in the book, in the book, that's what uh, it was. Is was he was Ieyasu. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it translates from book to series so the, Tokugawa, to new series. Tokugawa, I thought, or I had remembered, was kind of a villain in Japanese. Absolutely. Japanese. Yeah. Same with like the Oda clan and all that. Um. It was Nobunaga and Ieyasu who were like the great like villains yeah. um, of like feudal Japan. 
and and it kind of it kind of has parallels i i like i don't know the the like you said the vibe is kind of different and it's very bloodthirsty um but for those of you who have played like the samurai warriors and dynasty warriors video games that it kind of quenches that thirst of of the essential bloodshed so Dynasty Warriors is exactly this almost. It's just mm-hmm. you're fighting for one of those for one of those <laughs> families. Yep, yep. That's exactly. Do you think they will leave this as a one season start to finish, or are they gonna make this a multi season event? I don't know how, how they can make it more than one season. But well they can they can drag it out because yeah, it's so popular. Um, they can like get to a pinnacle cliffhanger and be like, oh, what's gonna happen next and drag it out for season two. I would I would be interested to see how they would be able to drag it out. Mm-hmm. Because even the miniseries on TV had a hard time uh and it was what a, six six episodes, the old one? Yeah. It was just like a week, you know. And well, they this is going to be ten, right? We're halfway through. Halfway. So I think I think it. So you're, so you're looking at a at a mini series on TV as two and a half hours each night. So yeah, they, they went they went six days for two and a half hours. So with this, they're dropping it down to an hour and uh, spreading it out a little bit. But I'd be interested to see if they tried to do a season two, and then where they went with it because. They couldn't stay on this same timeline. No. Well, they could stay on this timeline, but they couldn't stay on this particular story. No, they'd have to introduce more characters. Yeah, they'd have to introduce um, maybe the next, because you, you can go through many different areas uh, or many different eras in Japanese mythology or not mythology, but Japanese history and see all the different clans and families that <clears throat> continued to have shoguns or and rogans or ronins and other things it's, yeah bring in but, like uh what's that guy's right. name Hide- hideyoshi uh toyotomi hideyoshi bring in him he, he was involved in that kind of stuff too so the portuguese they they they've uh created all of these bases but they've also aligned themselves with the religious faction of it and so they they're they're really kind of i guess bigger. spain and portugal said we're dividing up you know this region and not even, not even spain just portugal it's portugal yeah. but because yeah. they were japan kind of japan had no clue japan is like what did they really yeah. just say this this is theirs well yeah japan has no clue because they don't they don't have any clue that there's anything outside of portugal yeah that's fair yeah and but now they now that they do, of course, they're gonna that could maybe be the next storyline on because there was a rebellion in Japan against the Catholic Church, mm-hmm. so that could be another story, and that would be really cool. So interesting, dude. This is by far the coolest conversation that this panel has ever had. <laughs> well, it's, it's 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 good, it's, it's bringing this is like mixing- in the movie. Mixing fantasy and history, and this is awesome. Keep yeah. going. I don't know shit about this. I'm loving this. Oh, you, you should, know? Watch, you should, oh, you man, should watch dude, it. It's, 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 it's such dense cultural references and stuff. And I'll be honest with you. There's like some really good TV right now, and I know where, I, I know where I'm about to jump. It cannot be compared to the cultural and historical reference of Shogun, but I will tell you, The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, mm-hmm. four, four oh. episodes in, has oh. been phenomenal. This last episode, awesome, phenomenal. Like just f- every episode I feels like it's self-contained, like story that it's. I been haven't seen any of it yet, but I, because <clears throat> I don't, I don't, I don't even remember the name of the faction that took Rick, and. Oh so, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep, CRM. Uh, yeah, I, now that you said that, I remember, but. Um, so I, I would I haven't seen it yet, but I'd be really interested in that. Uh, since you said that, it is um, because I want to be like Matt. What would you? One? Before we move off Shogun, I want to get people's ratings on the people who have actually seen it. Like, what what would you rate it uh, out of ten? It's I right mean, up there with Andor, man. 
I did eight and a half. Eight and a half. Mm -hmm. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I would I would put it at a at a at an eight and a half, nine. I it, couldn't you know, do this show dirty and compare it to Andor. This is Andor worthy, bro. <laughs> Come on. I'm at a seven, by the way. Uh I'm I'm interested to see where they go with it and at least how they end it. Because I, I think that if they introduce another aspect, they can easily go to a season two, but it's going to take killing off like a lot of characters and then they're rad as well okay. yeah i got i gotta beat rad has been on point with me almost all night like everything he's thrown out do like, you agree with the dark tower is greater than lord of the rings thing the, the dark rad. tower is massive it's everything it's rad, it's rad actually agreed with me man i said eight and a half first Oh, you didn't. Oh, okay. I fair, my fair enough. Fair enough. Rad, Rad, I'm sorry. Get him out of here. We don't need to hear him talk anymore. Uh, it is obvious, uh, Matt, only <coughs> what uh, Jeff Silversmith has to say and then mimics him. So. Absolutely. I we got to bounce, guys. I had fun. Bounce. No problem. Thank yeah. you, Carolina. Take care, care y'all. Appreciate Take you care. coming on. See y'all. And then, Bye. Uh, Jeff, I I really want to know if it's Ieyasu or not, because I I was always under the assumption that it was, and I think there's going to be like a more villainous turn. But I don't know. So far, I don't I I, I don't know. I'm interested to see where it goes. Yeah. yeah. Um. I think I think the ending from this series is going to be different than that miniseries. Mm. So, Fair, absolutely. I, I think yeah. We'll modernize I think, it. yeah, I don't think we can. I mean, I can fathom a guess, but I don't. It's already strayed so far away, anyways. Like, how can you explain? Explain um, the translator's backstory. She gave her history, but I couldn't understand. Was her father a traitor, or no? What happened there? Well, I, I'm, I'm, I might have mis misconstrued it because her husband was like, "She's a dirty dog." I'm like, "Wait a minute, what?" But I, I thought her she father was, killed a bad more, guy. She was getting more attention than him, so they diminished her name. Yeah, but the, the, her husband, her husband, the only, the only way he felt he could save face or his honor was there when he died, when he, when he ran back into when they were escaping yeah hmm. and he, he gave up his life but he, he lived his life uh, so that was the only way he felt he could uh save face uh, and his honor more than his wife's since she was she was being uh, uh touted by toronaga yeah toronaga to be to be the translator but what is her back she said her backstory i just didn't get it because it was like she said maybe her right. father tried to kill a bad guy. It was and then she got hunted. Ago. They got hunted for it. Yeah, it was 16 years ago. That's all you hear. You don't hear what he did. You don't hear anything yet. So you, you don't, don't know. You should see a flashback, though. You don't yeah, know. You, you see the flashback in episode four. You see the flashback. When, when they're killing them. Yeah. But she said something along the lines of. But you don't know why. You, you yeah, he tried. To, he killed a, a, a evil leader, and they got hunted or something. I was like, but why would that make them the bad guy? So, interesting story, man. It, it is. I, I gotta say, it is. We'll it is out. very good. We'll find out more of that particular part of the story. I think later. All right, let's get to it, Matt. March Madness. Madness of the marching. So, um. Again, I wish I had some videos for the stuff. We kind of threw these ideas out late in the game, but uh, we're here. So it's March Madness. I mean, everyone loves basketball. Everyone loves a good battle. So we My are going to be doing... alma is in March Madness. Oh, yeah? Yeah, San Diego State. Oh, okay. So we're doing a little wine, cheese, and comics, please. March Madness comic battle. It's That's not going to be as extreme as the 64 teams. So <laughs> let, 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 let's go through these rules. So the rules are simple. Each host will pick four comic book champions to represent them in battle. Okay. One mutant, one Marvel, one DC, one indie. Okay. We're going to spin a wheel. You get to go first. Now that doesn't mean it's going to be mutant versus mutant when we get to it. Each week for the next four weeks, I'm going to have written down securely, saved somewhere, 
who my champion is. And I have to say, here's my champion before the show, and I have to put it where people can see it. So I can't, like, hear Kyle's champion, then hurry up and switch my champion to someone better. Fair enough. During that show, I'm going to do the best to say why my champion would beat the shit out of Kyle's champion. Mm. Just because it's my champion, my champion's going to win. Kyle's champion's weak. Yeah, then obviously. we will put it up to a poll for the chat to decide. So when the chat decides who wins, Kyle's champion will advance, and this will go on for four weeks. The winners of those four weeks, so it'll be two battles a show for four shows, will be an eight-way battle. Now, again, if you have done a good job winning your battle, you will have more champions to represent you. The final poll will be, so say Sans won three weeks. The final poll will be Sans three winning champions versus the others. So again, it is very important to win each week. Winner, we'll, we'll, we'll come up with a title belt or a trophy or, or some guy on a toilet, or, you know, something to give out to the champion as the March Madness, you know, victor. Got it. Any questions? Uh, are we just picking today or are we doing also battles today? No battles today. We're just picking today. Just got picking. Got so, it. So again... Mutants are up first. So you can't see the wheel. All right. What so the hell is a, a is a W H E A L by the way? A what? The wheel. W H E A L? I don't know what that is. I don't know there how There should be two there should be two E's in there. <laughs> where, where, where did you see that? <laughs> it was on that page you just had up. I don't know what a, a what a what a we all is. We all, we, we all, all want to win this match. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for letting me come on and talk about Shogun. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, I, you. I Jeff, well, I pulled it, some new enchanted, Jeff. Did you really? Yeah. Got when it. it when it concludes, we should uh, rejoin the conversation and talk about if there's going to be a future with it. So. Oh yeah, we got to. Well, I got to go, but take it easy. Thank you, Jeff. Come back and talk more about Shogun. Thanks, guys. Bye, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. I, I love you. And hate yeah. you at the same time. <laughs> He's not going to hear any of that. <laughs> All right. We're going to shuffle this a whole bunch of times. Shuffle, Here we shuffle, go. Shuffle, 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 first shuffle, up for shuffle, Mutant. Mutants. Mutants. I don't even want first pick. pick. my person, Kyle. I don't want first pick. I think it's going to be Matt. I know. It's going to be <laughs> God damn it. Um, Let's go, Matt. I wanted to go villains the whole way. I mean, Do I got, I, I got to I got to take. It. I'm actually going to take Apocalypse. Okay. Okay. So, so, so I'm taking Apocalypse for my mutant pick. Man, I love Wait. how Bishop always gets the upper hand on Apocalypse. Oh, man. you better, you better choose. <laughs> <laughs> I Matt. love that Jean Grey is still available. Nola. Nola. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with a dark horse pick here. I'm gonna go with Darwin. Darwin, nice. You're doing that greatest greatest American hero bit. I get it. <laughs> no, Darwin can't be beat. <laughs> Sans, give me Legion. Oh Holy shit! Kyle, <laughs> wait, wait. I want to see if it lands on me. It doesn't. Uh, it didn't. Oh, shit. All right, I'll go next week. Next week. Next week's fine. <laughs> Give me Iceman. Oh, I was right. In... Nice. I will take right. Iceman. All right, I just want to be clear that all of y'all have taken way overpowered Omega people. Omega and... level. <laughs> well, well, I had to early on, man. This is, this is how you had to go. I said I would choose all villains. I had to go Apocalypse. Legion, Darwin. I, I don't know. know. I heard everybody's answer, and uh, well, I you gotta understand. Changed. There's so many people that could whoop Apocalypse's ass in a heartbeat. Same way with Legion. So, all right, moving on. Just I hope I get it. first. I hope I get first pick on this next one. <laughs> <laughs> I really want first yeah, Marvel pick. or DC. This is oh. DC. Oh no! Okay, never mind. I don't give a shit. DC, DC. We're shuffling, shuffling. Here we go. See, I don't even have to Oh, this is starting to feel a little rude. Why is this bullshit? Uh, DC shit. Um, 
I, I'm gonna go to the Batman who laughs. Ooh, nice. I don't even know what he does. You son of a bitch. That was a nice one. Kyle. Looking tough on you, Kyle. Yay! Yeah, Kyle. Dr. Manhattan. No! Oh. <laughs> Is somebody writing these down? By yep, the way? yep, yep. They're all okay, going cool. in. We got a slide. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, like, I like that none of my picks are the people that you guys are all thinking about. I love this. Fair. Uh, Sorry, Sans. Uh, you suck. <laughs> Sans, who are you going to pick now that Dr. Manhattan's off the table? I don't know. I'm Good thinking. Guy. Just go ahead and say it so I can pick him right before you. Probably like Dark Side or somebody. I'm going to go Swamp Thing. Oh, that's oh. a good oh, one. Yes, that's a good one. I got it. Oh, man. All right, Sans. Your last. Um, See, you guys are all going aggressive. I'm going like. Well, well I didn't go aggressive. I was, I, I was choosing villains. I was going villains. Just take I'm... Black Adam. I was thinking Black Adam too. Uh, Black Adam's OP. Uh, give me, give me, go ahead and give me uh, Dark Side. All right. So we got Batman Who Laughs for me. We got Dr. Manhattan for Kyle. Oh. We got Swamp Thing for Nola. And we got Dark Side for Sands. Nope. Are we doing Marvel or Indy next? Marvel. Okay, good. Oh, son of a biscuit. Give me first, please. No. This is rigged. There's one Marvel character that I just think is so freaking oh, OP. Shit. I didn't even have a Marvel character pick. Uh, <laughs> uh, I thought it was Cosmic. No, we went Marvel. We went DC Marvel. We were going to do Cosmic, but then it wasn't fair that we did DC. I didn't get that message. I had a Cosmic guy. You can pick him. I know, but... You can pick him if he's in Marvel. Marvel. But now that that opens it up. Hold on, let me think. Anybody else want the first pick? No, you're up. With the first pick in the draft, <laughs> Nola's <laughs> taken. He's trying to trade his pick. I am. I my pick is like ready to go. I I know exactly. You what know I'm what? Gonna I'll pick. just I'll, I'll I'll take balls out pure power. I'll take the Hulk. Oh man, I was taking the Hulk. I'll just go pure power on this one. All right. Ah, damn. Some good ones. No! Yes. Yes. All right. This is the easiest pick of my life. I will take Captain Marvel. Marvel? Marvel is my pick. Yes, Marvel. Evil. I think Sans may choose what I want. So, uh, fuck. Well, um, he's whipped, he's whipped uh, a bunch of ass already across the MCU. Let's go with Thanos. Oh, thank God. Ah, oh, easy pick. Dr. Doom. Doominator. All right. Indy. This is going to be interesting because it's so vast. I know. <laughs> like, you could pick a random character where it's just like, Molecule man, good one. I was gonna go with Blue Adam, Jeff. I should have went oh. with Blue Adam. Oh, look, Kyle gets first on the indie and the indie man. I'm in between two. I gotta only get choose one. I will take. Oh man, fuck. Ah, give me, give me like a shot. I need a coin. No, no, no. You just got to call it out. It's count Somebody count call out. heads or tails. Ten, no, no, heads or tails. Nine, eight, seven. Homelander. Homelander. Fuck you. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck you. That was so my pick from the start. Homelander is my uh, pick. I was in between Homelander and somebody else. I will oh say it God. if nobody picks them. Come on, uh, let's see. That's, Who's so next? that's so fucking shit, Kyle. That was my pick from the start. I stole from Sands, too, with Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> oh, God. That's going to be Nola. Nola. Hmm. 
I'll take Invincible. Okay, that was oh. what I was between, by the way. I was going to take was, Omni, was, man. It was in between Invincible and uh, Homelander. So. By the way, my second pick, and I guarantee you none of you would have picked it, would have been Vanya Hargraves. Oh, interesting. From, uh, she would have been fantastic. Yeah. See, even Rad says Omni Man. It makes sense. So my my second was Omni Man, but I'm gonna switch it up. Well, I can't because you all are fucking big dudes. I gotta go with Omni Man. <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> you have to compete. Uh, I, have, I, I have to. Like, uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you who was my. You know who my uh, my runner up was? Shredder. What's that? Shredder. But Shredder would get fucking annihilated from Invincible, Homelander, the Hulk. Like, there's no one that I think Shredder could actually win with other than, like, Iceman. Yeah, not not a lot of fear in the, uh, the brat. Right, you should have won a Savage Dragon. Let me get uh, Spawn. Okay. And then if I wasn't going all villains, I was choosing uh, Hellboy. Uh, Stan, I, I, had, I had Hellboy on my list. Stan, which version of Spawn are you going? K- Gunslinger Spawn? Uh, King Spawn, uh, Spawn I'm going with 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 the Spawn that can be any one of them that he needs to be. All right, <laughs> medieval, <laughs> All right. Viking, Viking Spawn. <laughs> all right, Some so go picks, over. Man. What are the indie Not picks? Doctor Manhattan oh. threw all my my whole my whole night off. <laughs> and Homelander was Homelander as well, fucked so. me. Homelander fucked me. I was. I was upset about that. All right. Why is it still? Oh, there we go. So we got D- DC draft pick, Sands, Darksider, Swamp Thing, Dr. Manhattan, Batman Who Laughs. We got Marvel, Thanos, Hulk, Captain Marvel, Dr. Doom. And then Indy, we got Spawn, Invincible, Homelander, and Omni-Man. Sounds good. So next week, you have to pick one of your four to bring into battle. Okay. You will not know who you're up against. We'll spin the wheel. So if it's Sands and then the second wheel is Kyle. So it'll be Sands versus Kyle. And then it'll be me versus Nola. Okay. We open our we open our envelopes or you open your letter. You call out who it is, and then we'll you get you got your you got five minutes. And five the minutes case. to, to make okay. your case. And then it's and Okay, so you, and and you can't. You could pick any of the four. You pick any of your four, so you have oh, to be rough. strategic on how you. Yeah, pick. yeah, because yeah. you can like blow your load first. And yeah, then... so like if I blew Doctor Doom on like Iceman, you know, oh man, I would have saved that for like a Homelander, something along those lines. Fair. So, so uh, yeah. Fair enough. All right, I can I just, dig it. I like I'm it. Gonna need, I'm gonna need you all to think very long and hard about how you beat someone whose superpower is literally he can't be beat. <laughs> <laughs> and and who's that? Darwin. 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 Well, I, I'm not fa- by not fighting him. You. I'm not him. facing you, so I'm good. He he, <laughs> he instantly evolves into whatever he needs to be to survive. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody picked Plastic Man. Plastic Man is a like it's pretty bad. Well, OP. Dude, I had I had like the hero list, and I had the villain Nobody's list, and I wasn't sure. Man. Superman is badass. Yeah, Superman, but Kryptonite, man. No one, picked, no one picked Batman. No one picked Superman. I'm happy about that. Like, I think we went a little bit. I, I do think we went a little hard in OP. like the Marvel OP area, but um, it'll balance itself out, though. Yeah. Stan Lee told me that Captain Marvel is the most OP. Yeah. Uh, it was Marvel that before character. after <laughs> he stopped taking Viagra to uh, you know make his way to the cons. It was. So it was sometime in the 2010s. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. <laughs> so what what I find interesting is that Dr. Manhattan was a pick and yet none of the reality warpers of Marvel were picks. No Franklin Richards, no uh Vulcan, no Just Fair. Curious. I mean we we are what we are. <laughs> I was shocked that no one picked Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider's like, pretty OP. Oh yeah, Red Hood Ghost Rider too. Oh. Okay, so let's let's just talk about since I thought it was cosmic. Who were people's cosmic picks? Uh, Thanos. Well, Verado, no one will save that. No one. It doesn't happen. <laughs> he blew Doctor Doom. Darwin got killed you. absorbing a blast. That's yeah. right. Oh. 
There you go. Havoc. Interesting. Look at that. Ha or, or did he? <laughs> He's just giving us weaknesses. Tell me the weakness of Homelander. Uh, you make him cry. His, his, his ego. Yeah. You d you deny him breast milk. All right. You make, <laughs> you tell him he's a little baby. Well, see, that's right. my my cosmic pick was going to be Gladiator. So. Ooh, nice. Because I mean, that's the, that's the, that that's why I was going to do something different with Indy, and I was going to make my Superman type Gladiator. And Someone then uh, do something that. different with Indy. Like I thought about Hellboy too. I thought Hellboy would be fun. Hellboy was, was Hellboy was up there, Melissa. Especially when you pick Swamp Thing, I would have yeah, oh, loved yeah, Hellboy. You would have done like a Constantine, uh, Ooh, Beyonder. I could get behind that. Yeah, the Beyonder, yeah. Like I'm saying, oh, like I think I think if this is good, that we eventually should like bring in a member of like the, the audience to bring in someone. Like eventually, yeah. like if this goes well, Hyperion. Hyperion, yeah. Yeah, Hyperion, Sentry. I mean, there's just a ton of Superman types out there. The God Butcher. No, we would just bring yeah, in Gore, Gore. Tiki, Tiki yeah. Watika to beat to beat Gore. Yeah, Michael Bell. <laughs> <laughs> you would bring the director. <laughs> that would just, that would destroy Gore very fast. I, I well. summon. I summon James Gunn oh <laughs> to destroy god. your franchise. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, we got about eight minutes to close the show. We got Ghostbusters: The Frozen yep. Empire coming out tomorrow. Yep. What are your thoughts? Um, I think I think it it's going to be entertaining. Um, I think I think it was going to be a hit. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's going to it's gonna it's gonna do some box office numbers. I think box office is no question. Like it's Ghostbusters. Like you never know, man. <laughs> I, I think know. after like we, did you too well in the box office. We talked about this last time. I think it's a a money grab at nostalgia's sake. I think that's all it is. I, I have very little desire to see it. I probably will, but I. Well, why don't we do a, a hit or flop? We did. We have one. We did. We did. Okay. And what was the the judging? Did we have all four at that time? Uh, no, we only had the three of us. So Nola, Nola, well, Nola said it was going to be on money grab last time, so I had him as a flop. But Sans was a hit. I was a hit. You were a flop. Kyle, Nola was a flop. Cool. Yep. Right. I cool. will tell you. I'll tell you. I saw it on Monday. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, interesting. So, and did we win? Did we win? Uh, we did. Just not say win. it. I was right. Just say it. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Just say it, Matt. It 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 had potential. Just say but, it. But they brought like Ray and Vankman and back just just for some really bad one liners and like oh let's let's would, let's bring in the old guys to save the day again. Would like, you be willing to say that they just brought them in for like nostalgia's nostalgia sake? <laughs> hey, we got a really great show tonight. I just want to thank you all for coming Listen. out. <laughs> I just want to say it was. It Let was the man be heard. Speak, oh great one. Uh, I've spoken enough. He knows. I mean, uh, I'm going right. I'm 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 to ecto trap Nola right out of this conversation. <laughs> well, that explains why you have the popcorn bucket. Yeah, I was so. wondering how the hell he got that goddamn thing. <laughs> um, uh, I'm, I'm taking Rowan to say it again tomorrow, but I got a friend of mine. They did like a they do like a pre screen where they yeah. make the real. Make yeah. sure the real works. So I got to come in and say it. I'm also saying uh, Godzilla vs. Kong on Tuesday. Oh, cool. The, the worst thing about that is he's eating three day old popcorn. That's awful. Yeah, I made this first <laughs> time, man. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Oh, my <laughs> like, gosh. I would, I would never soil the box with three day old popcorn. That's, he's, uh, that's what the Dune bucket's for. He's, he's, having uh... popcorn, he's having popcorn nostalgia to remind him of what a shit show that movie was. I feel like I should be smoking a cigar or something. Don't put your knee up. That's all I gotta say. Just oh, okay. Sorry, no, everyone. <laughs> Kyle, did you finally get to see Dune? Ah, uh, yeah, I did. You um, talked about it last time, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, but I was, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go see it on uh, Monday with my with my roommates, and holy shit, Dune was awesome. Dune was awesome. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know if I was. It. I don't know if I was a hit or flop, but God damn, it was good. We're all hit. Yeah, I, I am. Um, I would give it an eight and a half. 
Dune was amazing. I still haven't seen it. It, it. it it was it was it was really freaking good. Go if you're gonna watch something, go see Nimona. Or and watch are you guys excited oh. about the acolytes. Oh, I liked it, man. I I felt good about it. Yeah, I'm 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 ready to see what is it a year and a half or whatever for the end of the trilogy. A lot of people are giving acolytes is like a hundred years before anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm on. I'm on board with Dune. I'm sold on Dune. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I want to go see it again. That's that's where I'm at. Excellent. Well, gents, it's been a fun night. I got to say, it has not been. It has been, I man. Took, I took abuse tonight. I got oh, abuse. Speaking of has, has speaking yeah, of has been. Speaking of has beens, uh, watch uh, Has Been Hotel on Netflix. Oh man, that that looks crazy, man. That's yeah, it, it is wild. Stuff. Yeah, it is wild. It's very. Prog- if you're a conservative, don't watch Has Been Hotel. But if you're more progressive, Has Been Hotel is for you. It's a, it's a so, cartoon crazy. It's wild, and it's and there's songs, and there's talented voice actors. I'm 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 all on board on Has Been Hotel. Now, now, uh, Matt, where are you with uh, with Lorcana these days? Have you been collecting? I've not gotten Inkworld yet. Oh man, I, I I got a couple hits out of Inkworld, and that one has some true errors in it. So people are going nuts. Really? I'd be interested to actually play the game, like build yes. the deck and play the I was game. Watching, I was watching some uh, some of the World Championship games. Okay. Uh, it it is looking interesting, man. It is looking interesting. So, I I love that there's like competitive aspects to it. I mean, there's still like competitive Super Smash Bros. Like it, it like you, you gotta know. make characters sing. Like you you want like Ariel singing her songs and okay. beating up sad beast and stuff. Like it's crazy, <laughs> man. The way people are using these your favorite characters, man. Like. You got Beast from Beauty and the Beast, like holding so much value, and it's not even a top card because everyone wants to play that card in their deck. And the new Steel decks are killing it right now. So, Lorcana, y'all, it, it's still a thing. Cool. Anything uh, else? What was the other thing we we're going to close on? That's it. That's that was it. Cool. All right, everyone. Homework for next week will be the Grapes of Wrath. Make sure you guys out read it out there in the chat. No, just kidding. I thought it was one. I'm order. going to be studying everybody's picks and learning all the little caveats of each character. It's not going to um, help you because it's a Kyle, random wheel. Kyle's literally going to have a board, a whiteboard behind him. Oh, you picked this? Gonna, okay, this is where they get. I'm going to have one of those detective spiderweb things with the <laughs> yarn and the, the push pin. I'm, I'll, I'm making a PowerPoint, guys. Don't worry. It'll, it'll. Here's my case. I've learned. I have to actually go to, go to court with my cases to wind around here. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, thank you guys for coming through, hanging out from my homie Nola, the one and only from the homie. Uh oh, look, he's zooming. God, how'd the back zoom in like that? That was like <laughs> epic, promiscuous time traveler, Matt, the last level comics, and myself, Sans the Cookie Man. We bid you adieu, farewell, au revoir. Thank you so much for being here. Good night, everybody. Hey, Nola.